so morning students today we are going to see the poem song of the hindustani minister by henry dezio so who is henry dezio first look at henry dezio who is born on 18 april 1809 and died on 26 december 1831 he was an indian poet he was a indian poet with a portuguese origin so by birth or by his native he is a portuguese but his life span were born in india that's why he's called as indian poet again he worked as a assistant headmaster of hindu college kolkata hindu college kolkata is one of the uh, renowned college in our india in the before independence or india so he worked there as a assistant headmaster he was a radical thinker of his time and one of the first indian educators to disseminate western learning and science among the young men of bengal so he is a radical thinker and he strongly believe in that indian culture or in indian education system that's why he is rejected the western ideology of education so long after his death after his death he died due to the cholera so that this is his legacy live on among his former students but after his death also his writings is always inspired to the new students or the new persons in the literature who come to be known as the young bengal and many of whom become the pro prominent in social reform law and journalism so his work and his ideology always inspired the young people so writing first of all uh, next we are going to deal with the writing style of the henry dezio dezio was generally considered an in anglo indian being of mixed portuguese anglo indian so those the indians by uh, those people who are living here but their original origin from the other nations can be called as a anglo indian so he is a indian and portuguese indian and english descent but he considered himself an indian so his life span were gone here that's why he considered himself as a indian citizen dezio was known during his lifetime as the first national poet of modern india so he is considered also the first national poet of modern india and the history of anglo indian poetry typically begins with the dezio so that is the one of the uh, part of the indian poetry anglo indian poetry so that part maybe we can say that part or that kind of poetry writing it start with the dezio's writing his poems are regarded as an important landmark in the history of patriotic poetry in india so his writing or his poetries are considered as the beginning or the one of the landmark in the patriotic poetry patriotic poetry means apan tala marathi madhe desh bhakti par kavita desh bhakti par writing asa manu shakto so he is basically writing write writes over the india or specially to india my native land so is some poems are are given examples are given here the india my native land the the fakir of jan jangira he is influenced by the romantic poetry again he is writing or his poetry we can see the special ingredients in his poetry by the romantic poetry so he mostly inspired by the romantic poets specially the orientalism of poets like the lord brian and robert shrawdy so those are the uh, famous romantic poets and he is inspired from their poetry so the poem song of the hindustani minister 
so that poem is published in 1827 as a part of his first book of poetry the poem is structured around the theme three main points so that poems we can say that poems is deals with the three main points first the speaker describe the beauty of his beloved so in that poem the speaker or the narrator of that poem is talking about his beloved who is who is beloved the kashmirian girl kashmir ki mulgi hoti thi so that's why she is called she has been called as a kashmirian girl again uh, second he speaks about the poverty and third he assures his beloved that soon they will be see the view, uh, see the better future in the next uh, some days they will be see a better future so that poems is going to deal with the three aspects at the end of the poem the poet presents the optimistic picture in front of his beloved and at the end he seen his miseries but in the future they will be going uh, they are going to have a good future that's why that kind of optimistic uh, thinking is behind that uh, the end of the poem optimistic manje bhavishyavad aashavadi asni so that optimistic view we can see at the end of the poem he says that he says that through the world may change their love for each other will remain the same although he says that the world may be changed he jab badlat rahil but their love for each other each other as a lover and be lover that could not be changed te kadhi hi change hu shaknar nahi and will continue to love each other till their end when till their death they are going to love each other the poem has been compared to the vision of lovers in the poem the last ride together by robert browning and that poem that poem is we can say it uh, it, it is a uh, similar poem uh, with the robert browning's the last ride together so that poem the song of the hindustani minstrel and here we are uh, going to see the first stanza of the poems or the lines of the poems so uh, that basically that line uh, that poem is divided into the nine stanzas now stanza madhe hi poem divided ahe and each stanza is contained the four lines pratyek stanza madhe char line ahet and throughout that poem the poet try to describe the beauty of his beloved and he, who is his beloved that the dildar the kashmirian girl the kashmirian girl ji to beauty explain karna cha prayatna ya poem madhun to karto so what he says look at the lines here with the surma ting the black eyes fring till sparkle like a star with rose with roses dress each raven trees my only love dildar so here he describes the beauty of his beloved with surma surma you know, you all know uh, that surma that dolyala lavto apan kala kala color cha dolyacha yacha khale so that surma ting the black eye fring so that the tinge tinge means apan tala chhata manto tar tya surma chi ji chhata ahe and the black eyes fring ani ta black eyes la kaya dolyanna te fring sarkha disat ahe it looks like a fring fring means apan tala marathi madhe ekadya kapdyala baju cha side ne naksh kaam kelele asta baka jhalar kiwa asa kai tari shabd ahe tala so that surma is like that fring ta fring sarkha te disat ahe and twill sparkle like a star twill Twill here means that the uh, cloth or the uh, spancy cloth or the एकदम आपन त्याला महागडे कपडे असे म्हणू शकतो. So it looks like that eyes are look looks like that twill and it spark it spark like that star. त्या star सारखते spark करत आहे. With roses dress each raven trees. My only love Dildar. and he saying that with roses dress dress each raven trees 
and with roses that she dress like she dress like that roses the gulaba sarko ti tine dress kelela hai and she is another than uh, non other than kon ahe ti so she is only my dildar or only my beloved she is my beloved who is looking like that ti tya paddhatine diste ahe she is my beloved or my dildar dildar manje beloved premika apan jala marathi madhe manto so in that first stanza he compare his beloved's eyes and his beloved's dress uh, his eyes with that stars and dress with the uh, that uh, roses in the next uh, in the next stanza or the second stanza he says that dildar there there's many a value pearl in richest woman see but none my fair kashmirian girl oh none can rival thee so he says that dildar beloved premika so there are many value pearl ashe khup valuable khup jala apan manto value kimti pearl manje moti so ashe khup moti astil mahagade moti astil kuta astil in a richest woman see richest woman see ओमन सी हियर अपन ओमन सी हा समुद्र है एक आखाती देशा त्याला ओमन सी अंत एंड एक आख्यायिका है कि ओमन सी मध्य जास्त अपने मोती सापड़ता खूब महागड़े आता सो तो कंपेर करते बिलवडला त्या ओमन सी मध्य पल सारक कि पल जे मोती आहे तो मन तो ओमन सी मध्य खूब महागड़े मोती आती खूब महागड़े मोती आती बट नन मै फेयर काश्मीरियन गन पी को कंपेर विथ दैट गर्ल विथ दैट बिलवर्ड और विथ दैट दिलदार काश्मीरियन गर्ल एंड नो ओ नन कैन राइवल दी को ही राइवल विरोध करू शक नहीं कि टक्कर दे शक नहीं नो वन कैन राइवल दी कॉम्पिटिशन देव शक नहीं तिला सो इन दैट स्टांजा ही सेज दैट देर आर मेनी वैल्युएबल पर्ल्स इन द रिचेस्ट ओमन सी या ओमन सी मध्य खूब महागड़े मोती आती बट नो वन कूड बी कंपेर विथ मै बिलवर्ड गिलदार शी इज मोर ब्यूटिफुल शी इज मोर वैल्युएबल दैन दैट पर्ल क्या पर्ल पेक्षा ती कित महागड़ी है इन द नेक्स्ट स्टांजा he says that in a busra there are uh, there is many a roads in a busra there is many a roads which many a maid may seek but who shall find a flower which blows like that upon the cheek so in that uh, stanza he says that in busra there is a many roads busra busra is a place it is a actual it is a city from a iraq Where's the roses? We can find the many as roses are there. Busra as a sure, ah, he says that. Apply all the various roses. Sapuru shaktil. So he says that in Busra there is a many roses. That he can apply all the various roses. Sapuru shaktil. But which may made, which may, uh, which many a made may seek. Ani kacha pay ki the roses ah it. That uh, roses can make you maid. Maid means dasi bano ni. That a prema madhe that roses that prema madhe tumi padal. How beautiful that roses are. But but here he says, who shall find a flower which blows? But asa flower kono shodil shakil. Asa flower kono shodil ki je tya Kashmirian girl cha like that upon the cheek. Tya Kashmirian girl cha cheek war cheek war means gala war ya hai. गुलाबी गालांवर जे रोजेस अपने जे गुलाबी गाल है तस फ्लावर कि रोज अपने कुछ सापड़ी बो का सो इन दर्ड स्टांजा ही सेज दैट दैट प्लेस दुसरा दैट वन ऑफ द सीटी फ्रॉम द इराक देर वी कैन फाइंड द मेनी रोजेस विच विच रोजेस आर मेड अस और मेक अस अ मेड फॉर द रोजेस और अ स्लेव कि रोजेस प्रेमा मध्य पड़ू बट नो वन कैन फाइंड द रोज और द चिक्स लाइक हिज दिलदार हिज बिलवर्ड तिलवर्ड सारोज कि बिलवर्ड ऐसी गाला वर की जी लाली है 
त्याच्या सारखी सुंदरता आपल्याला त्या रोजेस मध्ये दिसणार नाही सो ही कम्पेअर्स हिअर इन दॅट स्टांजा ही कम्पेअर्स दॅट चिक्स विथ द रोजेस त्या बिलवटचे जे चिक्स आहेत गाल आहेत ते तो रोजेसशी कम्पेअर करतो सो आय थिंक दॅट्स इनफ फॉर टुडे अँड वी आर गोईंग टू सी द नेक्स्ट पोयम इन द नेक्स्ट अवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर और नेक्स्ट व्हिडिओ